What's up, Gore Squad? Long time no see. Famox here from Game On Your Face, and after almost two months, I'm finally bringing you a brand new full featured review. Now, usually I compare players that play similar styles, but since this is the most requested review ever, I thought I might as well give you guys what you want. So today, we're looking at two current day legends, Sidney Crosby and Alexander Ovechkin. The rules. I will play both players for seven games on 100 chemistry lines. They will not be assigned any boosts or captaincy cards. The overall grade will be based on five stats. Puck skills, skating, shooting, physical, and defensive. His current average price is 400k, putting him in the same price range as Team of the Year Bergeron. Puck skills. He gets a 10. Crosby doesn't have the lightning fast hands that Kane does, but he has superior control. Even though his deking isn't as quick, it's just as effective because the puck is almost glued to his stick. Even when he's being attacked by relentless poke checks, he manages to maintain control of the puck. He's also a perfect passer. Even when there are multiple sticks or skates blocking his way, he usually finds a way to sauce it through and find his teammates. Skating. He gets a 7. This is the weakest part of Crosby's game. At the start of a shift, his skating could get him an 8, but he gets fatigued very quickly and loses a lot of speed. His card has him at a 90, but when tired, he skates more like an 86 or 87. He's also not the most agile and can't stop and go as fast as top skaters in the league. Shooting. He gets an 8.5. Crosby is definitely more of a playmaker than a sniper, but he's no slouch when it comes to shooting. He's got great power, and he often got goals with the slap shot or one-timers. However, his wrist shot doesn't have that quick whip that you'll find with most elite snipers. He also struggled with his accuracy at times, especially late into a shift. Physical. He gets an 8. Sometimes Crosby's physicality can be unpredictable. Most games he's above average and will be able to knock down his opponents or power through them with great balance. But the next game, he's barely able to take three strides without getting bumped up the puck, crunched, or even injured. However, the majority of the time, he is his powerful self. And when he is, it becomes very hard to take the puck away from him, especially when combined with his great puck control. Defensive. He gets a 9.5. Crosby's stick on the defensive end was one of the best I've seen from a forward in this game. His poke check was flawless and his positioning was superb. He was always in the right spot, so he had a lot of interceptions and stopped countless opposing plays. However, his faceoff ability wasn't as good as I hoped it would be, only winning 24 out of 41 draws for a 58% average. So while he's not terrible, he's not as good as some other number one centers that you can find in this game. Total points. In 7 games, he got 6 goals and 3 assists for a total of 9 points. His overall grade comes to 8.6 out of 10, or 86%. That's a B. Overall, Crosby is a great player, but he might not meet the expectations of some people. He's an amazing playmaker, he has a good shot, and is nearly perfect on the defensive end, but at this stage in the game, I'd label him as a second line center, simply due to his poor face-offs. He's also not very speedy, and he's not the perfect all-around player that you might have hoped for. And compared to other players I reviewed, uh, like Team Leader Sagan or even Evgeny Malkin, Crosby may not stand out as an instant game changer the way you expect him to. But he will improve the goal production of any line, no matter the line mates, or decrease the goals against with his defensive awareness. So now that you've heard my opinion on Sid the Kid, let's see how he does compared to Alexander the Great. His current average price is 450 k putting him in the same price range as Team of the Year Sagan. Puck skills. He gets a 9. Ovechkin's deking ability is slightly better than Crosby's. He has the same elite level puck control, but his stick speed is a bit faster, allowing him to make better reactionary dekes. However, he doesn't get a 10 because he has mediocre passing. He's not a terrible passer, but he's nowhere near as effective as Sid. If you try to get it through multiple opponents, it will almost always be intercepted. Skating. He gets an 8.5. Ovechkin is not the fastest player in the game but he's still among the top. His max speed is comparable to someone like Hosa, but Ovi's got much better acceleration. He can hit full burst in just a few steps and gain the edge over defending opponents. And while he's not as nimble as Patty Kane, he's still a very agile player and can perform any evasive maneuvers you throw at him. Shooting, he gets a 10. When it comes to sniping, you can't get much better than Alex Ovechkin. I have nothing negative to say about a shot. Pull it back, wind it up, or simply snap it on net, and Ovi can light the lamp. 
even in the tightest spot, he can fire with a lightning release and precision accuracy. Physical, he gets another 8.5. Ovechkin's physical game is a little stronger than Crosby's. He was better when it came to powering through opponents and simply staying on his feet. He was also more consistent when throwing hits and not as injury prone. However, he still doesn't play as strong as Malkin and was knocked down on many occasions by bigger guys. Defensive, he gets a 7.5. Ovechkin's defensive ability is right around the average line. He does have a decent stick, making him good at intercepting passes, however, it's not perfect, and he wasn't as clean when it came to stripping opponents of the puck. He'd have to make a few pokes to jar the puck free, which would sometimes result in a tripping or slashing penalty. He was sent to the box a total of four times in his short seven games. Total points. In seven games, he got seven goals and two assists for a total of nine points. His overall grade comes to 8.7 out of 10, or 87%. That's a B plus, just 3% shy of this year's first A. So to sum it up, these are two of the best players in the league, and they play very different styles of hockey. Crosby is a playmaker with perfect passing, a good shot, and superb defensive ability, where Ovechkin is the sniper. He's a bit faster than Sid, and he has the superior shot and deking ability. I can't really say one is better than the other, but Ovechkin has less flaws. Crosby is a bit slow and isn't very strong in the face-off circle, whereas Ovi's only weakness is his poor discipline. So if you have 500k laying around and are stuck between these two guys, then my advice is to simply pick by your team needs or your play style. If you're that run and gun guy, dangle snipe Selly, then go with Ovechkin. But if you are uh, like to play it slower and prefer the cycle game, then go with Crosby. Of course, there's more than two ways to play the game, but everyone falls somewhere between these two sides. So that's what I thought about these players. I hope you can use that to your advantage. As always, don't take everything I said as pure fact, as it's just my own personal opinion based on the seven games that I played. And since these are two of the biggest superstars Stars, I'm sure many of you have opinions of your own. So if you try these guys out, then I'd love to hear what you thought about them in the comments. But if you're sitting there thinking that you'll never have the coin to afford these guys, then this may be your lucky day. Because as my apology for making you wait so long for this review, I'm going to be giving away both Crosby and Ovechkin. All you guys need to do is go to the description of the video, click the link to my tweet on Twitter and retweet it. Then you'll be entered for your chance to win Crosby or Ovechkin. So that concludes this review, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you did, I'd appreciate it if you left a like. And if you're new, then hit that subscribe button to join the Goyf Squad, where I provide in-depth reviews so you can make informed decisions. I'm Famox, and I'll see you in the next one.